Hey Stampers, I'm Meg from Loven Stamps and I have a project to share with you using the Christmas Quilt Stamp Set, which is definitely not just for Christmas. There's lots of great pieces in there. And in our Stamps in the Mail Club projects this month, we're actually going to feature fall colors instead of Christmas. So this will give you a lot of different kind of ideas to use with a stamp set, which is really a pretty universal one. So whether you like quilting or you know people like quilting or you just like the idea of fall and being fuzzy and wrapped up in something warm, um, get ready for some cards. This is the one I'm going to show you now. It features the eight point star and then the wish, which is actually from Cupcake Cutouts. Um, so the background of this is also embossed with the quilt top embossing folder, which I will um, show you it's part of the quilting bundle. So grab your Stamps and Mail Club kit. Um, if you haven't ordered one yet, go ahead and get one ordered and we'll get started. I'll give you some tips on putting this card together. All right, so when you pull out the packet for this wish card, you want to, oh my gosh, did I lose it already? No, <laughs> be very careful. There is a tiny, tiny little dot for the eye. Um, I'm gonna set it right here on top of my sticker so I don't lose it. Um, hang on to that because it's easy to lose track of. All right, so um, the background of our card is this awesome quilted background, um, which is the quilt top um, folder. And this goes through your big shot and embosses your cardstock. It's pre-done for you because that's just a perk of Stamps in the Mail Club. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this. A lot of times when I'm using a textured um, layer like this, I will go ahead and use um, fast fuse or tear tape or something. This one's not quite so much, but the more surface area is popped up, the less surface area there is to attach to your card front. And sometimes it can be hard to get the layers to um, adhere really, really strongly. So, all right, I'm gonna leave this stuff over here and set this aside and grab my um, piece of Whisper White cardstock here. Because I am stamping with photopolymer, I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, paper piercing mat under here. And with a big stamp, I'm gonna use my Stampin' Spot upside down. I just sort of tap, 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 tap. Um, Stampin' Spots are included in Stamps the Mail Club unless you want to upgrade to big pads, which you can do very easily. Um, or if you already have these colors, you can always pick something else to come with your kit instead of the spots. And I push too hard. Okay, so this is what happens. If you are getting these dots in the center, you're going to flip over and you're not going to be quite so zealous about um, pressing down on your stamps. You might also, you could try taking away the pad as long as your table surface is super flat, but I'm just going to press um, more gently this time there we go, and now we have a clean image. So if you're worried about that happening, go ahead and practice on your scratch paper so that you don't get um, caught unaware of that. And I still need this. So, oh, look, it's Christmas quilt, not just for Christmas. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this and um, grab one of my two stamps here that go inside our eight point star. I had to have a quilting friend tell me what that's called. So, And you're gonna notice when you go to stamp these that they don't fit on both sides. So uh, let's look at this real close. When I line it up here, see how it's a perfect match? If I try to force this to go round peg and square hole over here, it's actually not gonna match. So um, pay attention to where you're stamping so that you get that um, on the side that goes. And there are actually, because these are bound together, which is so easy. You only step it twice, and then we're going to switch colors um, and do the other two. So I have my stripes, and I'm going to attach that. Okay, now here is a tip for attaching these. Um, it's possible to, this is very extreme, but it's possible to bend them. All right, so if I go to line this up, there's no way it's going to line up, all right? You need to let the photopolymer stamp be its own confirmation. You can't let it change shapes um, when you apply it on the block. So the safest way to adhere them into your block is to go ahead and lay it on your paper or on your surface and then just bring your block down on top of it. Then you know that it is um, just in its own native shape and it's not got some odd shape that artificially because I mounted on the block funny. So, all right, and funny thing, this matches the opposite direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, that's the lid, not the ink, um, ink this up and go ahead and stamp my other two sides here. All right, and then you're gonna go ahead and cut this out with your paper snips. Um, and let me give you a tip for this. Only cut from the outside in. Don't try to get in the center and then um, jam your scissors out the other way. Just bring your scissors in like this 
and you will be able to get all of those cut without um, damaging the inner corners of your eight point star. Okay, so now it is just about assembling. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this first, um, and I wanna attach it. Um, you can forget you saw that. But before I stick it down, I'm gonna grab this gold thread, which I love. I'm going to make that loopy decoration um, like this that is so popular. If you don't know how to do this, it's really easy. Um, pinch the thread between your first finger and your thumb. Wrap that around, oops. <laughs> Hopefully without a knot in it. Okay, untie the knot first. There we go. Fortunately, it comes knotted pretty easily. Okay, wrap around your first three fingers until you get to the end. Then pinch that end there also so you have both of them together. Okay, so two ends right there. And then I'm going to grab um, just a Stampin' Dimensional and pop it down. And I'm going to press my thread into it. Or you can press the Dimensional on top of the thread, whatever kind of makes you happy. And I want this to go, let's see, I want it to stick out to the bottom side like this, kind of. I think that's kind of where I want it. So I'm going to spread those apart just a little bit so that they have a little bit more interest. And then I'll just pop another dimensional here on the back to kind of hold those pieces apart. Okay? And then, um, oh, why not? I'll just stick one more. Just for fun, I'll give one more dimensional over here since I'm going to put one on the back anyway. Okay, so now I have my dimensionals. I can take my eight-point star and stick it down in our card. Then we have um, this super awesome wooden element. I love these things. They are from the Hearts and Stars elements, and you can use them apart. You can use them together. Um, there's a couple different sizes. There's hearts and stars, and they are a really fun thing to have on hand, so I highly recommend them. Now, to attach them, um, you want to use uh, mini glue dots, or um, I like to actually also use my Fast Fuse. So when I put my fast fuse, and I'll show you this real close up, I want to make sure that my fast fuse is on both the outer rim and the inner layer. There, can you see here how the, if I show you the shine, um, you can see how they're both encompassed on the same adhesive. That way I know that they will stay. And I am going to, I kind of like my lines going this way, add my star here, okay. So I've got that stuck down and it's not going anywhere because Fast Fuse is awesome. And then I have our Wish. And I'm going to put this mostly, I think, kind of to the bottom, um, well, bottom quadrant of our card. But to attach it, I'm going to go ahead and take my um, fine tip glue pen. You could also actually just use Fast Fuse on this. Um, and then you just sort of scrape away your extra. And I am going to, and actually on my sample I did, but I'll do fine tip glue pen here. So I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to get some out here on the end of the H, because I want that to stick down um, where it's going to contact. All right, so this is going to go here, and hopefully I caught some places. And um, I've said before that the adhesive doesn't grab instantly. You want to give it um, some time. So I've got my blocks. I'll give them some heavy blocks uh, there. And then we're left with this little tiny piece, which I didn't lose. Ha <laughs> ha! And I'm going to go ahead and just put it on with some Fast Fuse. So I just stuck it right there to the bottom of my Fast Fuse where the adhesive is. And then I'll pull it away. And then this is going to get popped right there on the wood element where I've left it. And when I take away my pieces, now we have our very fun um, Stamps the Mail Club card. So... Like I said, Christmas quilt, not just for Christmas. Great stamp set, birthdays, um, all occasions. You can dress it up however you like. So uh, if you haven't requested your Stamps and Mail Club kit yet, go ahead and do that. Um, Loven Stamps is the website you're looking for. And I have kits. Um, they include projects for or this project plus three more this month. And uh, you get the stamps and the ink with it. If you already have the stamps and the ink, woohoo, good for you. Um, no problem. Just pick out something different to get with your kit instead. So let me know if you'd like to request a kit. I will love to get one in the mail to you soon. Happy stamping and look for another project soon.